Hello boys and girls, I'm Redevil, welcome back to another Age of the Ring 1v1. We're back on the Westfold, and the left side we have, because I know, I know who it is, I can read the replay names, contrary to what some people say, it is Old Nosy, back as Erebor, Fi and he's not going Dwarf Star. You know what, Old Nosy, just because it's you will grant you an exception. His opponent is the mighty Mordor, and it's the last Jarl, the French kid, the guy who does French things, but yeah, the mighty Mordor, and uh, I don't need to explain why they're mighty. Case in point, Nazgul. Anyway, uh, that looks like Lake Town, so... Okay, well, even even the great nosy must compromise when fighting Mordor. So, Lake Town spam it is, and probably accompanied by some bowmen. And we'll see how old nosy uh, gets on. Because Mordor holds all the cards. Is he going troll start? Okay. So he's going to just try and keep the enemy busy by harassing uh, his mineshafts. I'm not sure if mountain trolls are affected by tunnel collapse. It's funny that I don't know that, but maybe we'll see. But yeah, he's obviously just going to keep him busy and then um, get a few ox out and then Nazgul. I'm guessing, unless he's going to do something unorthodox. We'll see. Anyway, mineshaft going down here. He's got pikemen on the way to obviously what creep the warglair. And if these spearmen can get around in time, theoretically they should beat the troll. But if you've got really good troll micro, like some players do, it should be able to get around that. Anyway, troll number one is out. He's queued up a second one as well. So literally no orcs actually, just plenty of slave farms and trolls. So we've seen troll starts before, but they usually are accompanied with orcs. So I'm surprised he's actually going for a second one and just more slave farms. So uh, this could actually be... A somewhat, a slightly, 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 ever so slightly different Mordor. Anyway, there's a pink dot moving on the map. Wait, it's not the troll. There's the troll, okay. Anyway, Bowman. I mean, they'll be good against trolls as well, but he'll need more because they do... I don't know, kind of low damage, I feel like. But yeah, once he gets those archer heroes out, which is basically uh, the trademark of Lake Town, uh, these trolls shouldn't be a problem, and... I'm not sure how he survived that first crush because he literally went into the entire battalion and he managed to get an attack off. So he's a very lucky boy there. Although if some Lake Town Bowmen come in, I don't think he'll be lucky again. Now doesn't the tree, does the tree lessen how much damage you do to buildings? Because if it doesn't, then you should just always carry it because it, it makes him way better versus infantry because obviously he does like more splash. Anyway, one more volley should be enough. That was kind of unlucky by y'all. He took his eyes off the ball for one second and... I mean, this is literally half his army because he's only made two trolls. And yeah, he's just going to try and buy time. I think this troll is on his last legs. Anyway, counter-attack by Old Nosy going for the safe bomb in the back. We've got... He must have a third troll by now. Well, wherever it was, he's got another one coming in. Alright, battle wagons coming in. And a hall of warriors. And he's put them in the back. Usually people don't protect their rear mineshafts, but Old Nosy has done that. And this troll has been largely ineffective. And you can see red on the top and the bottom of the map. There's both the trolls, and now orc archers as well. So, yeah, you can see you can see why micro trolls are actually really good. Because just because you have spearmen, I mean, they're level 2, it's not guaranteed that they're going to win. I mean, look, he's just below half. He's still got a bit of... Bit of a waste to go before he was actually going to die. So, while he dealt with one troll, two more are still on the field. Now the orcs are coming in. There could be a mugging on the field if another orc gets there soon. And, I mean, look I mean, look at that. He was able to go... He was able to spend a thousand in the beginning on two units. Uh, attack, and then still have time to get three, four orc barracks. Okay, four might be a bit excessive. But yeah, he still had time to do all of that. The... That such is the efficiency of uh, Mordor early start. Anyway, there is definitely going to be a mugging here. Very unlucky. But, um, uh, Old Nosy did get the bottom uh, goblin lair. So, I guess he can't get all of them. He's got like three lairs so far. Anyway, another troll goes down. Plenty of spearmen there. With some guardians, I guess, to cleave through some orc spearmen if they show up. And I'm sure Old Nosy has a plan with the battle wagon. I'm not sure what, though. He seemed to trade, like, even Steven. Oh, there we go. Bait him in. 
And again, I think y'all must have been looking away, because you know people don't voluntarily... Oh! Yeah, Lake Town, it seems... I mean, honestly, with the cheap spears and the fact that they're they're much faster than dwarves, yeah, I feel like uh, Oaken Shield is your best bet for defeating Mordor on a 1v1. As much as it pains me to say, because there's no going on the field, but sometimes you have to look past it. Anyway, he's done the wise thing and dismounted the Nazgul. He's not really at risk of dying to anything else, so he, he can dismount. Inspire fear immediately. Nope, he's going to just keep chasing him. And unfortunately, the battle wagon does go down. I'm not sure. I, I think basically he was using the battle wagon as like a scapegoat. Um, like, let it fight the Nazgul while we get the um, the slave mill. And uh, that's the best I can, that's the best trade I can do. Anyway, these guardians run into the complete wrong area. I don't think they're going to get this slave mill. Actually, they are clumped up a lot. He might be able to. And there's Horbo. So many units dedicated to this, and there's only two battalions here uh, from Old Nosy. I think the Nazgul, yeah, switched targets from the guardians to the Lake Towners. So he is able to save the slave farm. The plus side is that he caught, he forced Jarl to devote everything to that defense. All right, Keeley's on the field now. Sorry, Feely's on the field. The uh, acceptable Prince of Durance folk, I suppose. And now that he's spotted the enemy forge, I don't think he's going to keep this alive for much longer. I feel like trolls are on their way to just ruin him. Let's see what he's making. Some guardians and maybe another hero because there's no Lake Towners being made at the moment. Well, there you go, Feely and Keely. Usually it's Keely straight into Bard. Um, but Bard is like, his level 1 is like completely different now. It's like, it doesn't slow at all, so it's not the anti Nazgul sniper it, it used to be. So Feely and Keely, I mean, Feely, um, Feely has that hero cripple, so he's probably better equipped to deal with the Nazgul. He just needs to worry about not wandering into this, because this will just delete anything he has immediately. He doesn't want to get isolated. That's probably his worst thing. He is um, spreading out a lot, whereas Jarl is like in one big clump. The problem is, is that Jarl outnumbers him quite substantially. Anyway, some free hits on Keeley, And Keeley cannot outrun a Nazgul. So, I'm not sure what... Okay, thankfully, there's some spears there. If these Lake Towners weren't there, if they got deleted miraculously, then Keeley would have been in some real trouble. It's strange that he's splitting up the brothers because they do get buffed when they're near each other. Um, but I guess he's content with just getting slave farms where he can. And there anyway, second Nazgul on the field, which is very annoying. Um, manpower should never be a problem because he's got, as I said, four Orc Barracks. And yeah, this is, uh, I mean, don't you just wish you had sent him the goats? I mean, he doesn't, ha he's not going to get it because he went rebuild. But I mean, imagine if he did. There's no leadership there. They would all die. No goth mock to tank them through it. No war chant. Anyway, action up top. There is a mineshaft as a get out of jail card. He has dismounted the Nazgul, which obviously is fine. There's Inspire Fear. Is that Gorbag? Oh, it is Gorbag. And if, if. I'm not sure if he's noticed Gorbag's there, but he's probably just retreated him because he's low. <gasps> Ooh, see, that that's as they slow down to line up with the entrance to the mineshaft, that's when you can easily uh, get some free hits on heroes, and it almost paid off there. He, if he had lost uh, Feely there and uh, Gorbag was still alive on the field, then that is super annoying. Anyway, Jarl actually being based for once, lol, and going with Barricade. Um, not my preferred one, not most people's preferred, like the Harondor Summon is just way too valuable. But, I don't know, maybe he thinks he can get more done. Some f some free kills with the uh, barricade, and then obviously gives you a nice buff when you're near it as well. Anyway, Mineshaft has gone down. He does have more troops down here. There's no Mineshaft down here, actually. There's one in the corner there. But yeah, he's doing all those nosy things, trying to hit Mordor Eco where it hurts. Um, but, I mean, that's so difficult, because as I said, Mordor just efficiency. You're, like, paying, like, next to nothing for these things. None of them have really died. He's mainly lost, like, a few trolls and, like, maybe one orc, and that's it. So, yeah, I mean, it's so easy to just uh, keep going. I mean, he's got three heroes on the field, so if you're wondering how he does that, it's because he's spent very little and lost very little. So it's just Mordor Economics 101. Anyway, Barricade does get used there. doesn't have fire arrows because it's this soon, soon into the game. Uh, early fire arrow rush is something I never do, but I always admire people who do it. Because it's such a risk, like, you put so much money in your archers and then, like, one cavalry comes along and just ends your strat. Now, is the cripple here? It is! 
Maybe didn't notice Feely there. Maybe didn't see he was level 3. And a lot of those orcs, they didn't actually run away. I think they actually died there. So. Did we just see a Nazgul get killed by a barrel? Excuse me? Okay, no. We're going to need to see that instant replay. Literally slow-mo. There is no way. I don't care if he's got Gothmog on the field and leadership for all these orcs. I don't care if he can just rebuild all of his armies like Sauron. Yeah, Nazgul getting killed by a barrel. That's something that doesn't happen every day. Anyway, no Vow of Vengeance, which is surprising because um, that would cut through a lot of the buffs that got the his orcs are now getting. Um, and Jarl is clumping most of the time. I'd say his like, army split in terms of clumping is like 80-20. So, like, he's got, like, 80% of his army in, like, one spot, and then 20% just, like, sporadically placed. So, maybe Vow of Vengeance would have actually been better here for, like, decisive battle. Uh, but, no, he's gone with Deep Delving. Maybe he just wants to bankroll some heroes. Um, I mean, God, it's it's, it's just... It, when you're looking for solutions and you're up against Mordor, it's so annoying. All right, he does have double battle wagons. There are one spear in there. One battle wagon does... Meet a grim fate, the other one does escape. Okay, Lord of the Iron Hills is here. There was a time when you could summon goat riders from the fortress, and I can't help but think how good that would be right now. Um, there's also, there was a time when Arca was the best hero in the game, so I guess times do change. Anyway, he's doing these forays into the enemy base, getting like maybe one slave mill, distracting the enemy. He is at least getting power points from these skirmishes, and he is trading pretty efficiently, so it's not that... Uh, terrible. It's just, uh, he, it's, it's, it's like a drop in the ocean. Like, he's hardly denting the eco at all, and he's trying his best. Anyway, I like to call this the Cami Fry strat, because I'm pretty sure the first time I saw people, or someone harass with a Dane on his ball was Cami Fry's. And he's gonna get the early XD. One more hit should do it. And he l gets away before the final axe can swing. So, lucky break for that builder. Anyway, counter-attacking on the top. Still no tunnel collapse. Oh no, tunnel collapse. He's got it. And surely it's going to come in here. There it is. Guardians are going to pour out. And I'm thinking he's just going to save up for Moria Reclaimed. So no Sen in the Goats. No Horn of Erebor. And Jarl just w flexing that eco. Flexing that economic might. He's got Mouth of Sauron now on the field. He has lost one Nazgul. Oh no, big deal. It doesn't cost that much. Anyway, 10 more points. Um... And is he going to pop rebuild or is he going to save it for like his barracks or something? I feel like... Nope, there it is. And Gorbag's leveled up enough to get the... Wait, what level does he get that? Oh, it's only level 4. Sorry, I was getting confused with the, this one. Okay. So Dane is bleeding. Level 4 bleed and look at that damage to his health. It is damage over time, but still. Yeah, that, that's unfortunate. Alright, he does have some Eridlewin ranges. He does have a level 3 Iron Hills outpost, so Iron Hills are obviously on the way. But the thing is, you're spending lots of money for elite units that have to, like, stand there and be slow. Did he just get kicked off his freaking boar? Nah, he should be fine. He should be fine, yeah. But the thing is, is, like, once all the... Uh, like, once all the... Mortal buffs stack, like, even their elite troops are just gonna melt... It, it's it's so difficult. Anyway, he does have a trump card, which in one and like a quarter points, um, he's going to get Moria reclaimed, which could turn the tide. It's highly unlikely, but I don't know. Stranger things have happened, I suppose. We did see Nargo get killed by an oil barrel, so don't put anything past anyone. Anyway, ooh, and that is a awesome hero snipe by... Old nosy. There is Shelob, and Feely should immediately get into the back. Poison Stinger. The stun has already gone out. And there's Poison Stinger. He can just heal up in the mine. I don't think they take damage when they're in the mine. So even though he's poisoned there, I think his health should actually stay the same. So he's got tier 3 now. He has killed a hero, which is actually an expensive one. He did force the tier 3 from Jarl, and he didn't even get the hero kill. So I'd say that's a pretty good day's work for Old nosy. I think Mordor is still well in the ascendancy, purely because of that eco might. Like, you can't stop Mordonomics. Like, he hasn't even gone Fuel the Fires. Didn't even go Fuel the Fires. He's got quad fucking strongholds. He's got 
Mogul Sorcery, all these heroes, and he hasn't even got the eco buff. He's just fine. Anyway, someone's just been bled again. Feely, who's... Okay, there's Mori Reclaim. Dude, Feely, he's not having a good time. He's been stung by Shield and drop kicked by Gorbag. And... Wow. I mean, Gorbag, I mean, remember, he is still a cheap hero, so he can actually die. I know we make him out to be, like, super invincible, but he, it's the damage we love most about him. It's the hero-killing damage, but he does fall there, and Feely does get away. And Mori Reclaim, people like to do it in the middle of armies for the knock-up. Um, or the knockback, whatever. But, uh, sometimes a lot of units get away. Anyway, he's dealt with one army, another army is moving north, more mine shafts keep falling. And this could be a problem. Both tier 3s are out the bag, barricade is back, but the Witch King of Angmar, for which our boy, Old Nosy, my favorite arable player, this might be a Nazgul too far. For our boy. We shall see. Chill of Angmar at level 1. So don't worry about that XP bar. Don't worry about it. He, Yeah, that's not a problem. That that didn't become a problem when they decided to make Chill of Angmar level 1. I'm just saying. I mean, it, it, it's not like over... Well, I guess it's fair because like you pay that much for a hero. They should have stuff right out the gate. Like Ganaf has Wizard Blast. Saruman has Wizard Blast. Um... Thranduil can mount a fucking jet ski, you know? So it's, it's, you know. It's fine, it's fine. I just like to meme on Chill of Angmar because it's fucking annoying. I guess because it, it also lasts way longer than, like, any Wizard Blast. So. <laughs> that was a quick revival time, dude. He sped ran that Orcish pit. He was swimming through that pit. Couldn't wait to get back. And Nosy's eyes are just everywhere. Like, uh, he was able to track down that Nazgul, kill him very quickly. Dane, who's been working his balls off, is only level 4. That's a shame. Now, at level 10, he does summon Goat Riders. That's a long way to go, dude. Do you think they should reduce that? It is three battalions. Who's going to get Lord Dane to level 10? Come on. Who the fuck is going to get Lord Dane to 10? That just seems like a uh, big of an ask. Anyway, free trample there. Barricade in the middle. If he fights around it, he'll get a nice armor buff. Gorbag drop, drop kicking someone again, but I don't see a hero. There's Chill of Angmar. Again, I don't see too many... Well, there's Feeling Killing. Oh, Thorin is in there. Sorry, did not see him. So all the heroes of Doran's folk are here. And he is actually surrounded. Now, if he loses the heroes here, that could actually be it for... Uh, Old Nosy. He might have miscalculated. Feely's running away. They're all after Feely. What the hell for? And... Yikes. He stopped for one... Yeah, that's... That's bad. And Feely's probably going to die here because these orcs are somehow faster than Feely. Achilles should get away. I think he was actually killed by the barricade because these guys don't do damage, do they? I think he was actually killed by the barricade. That sucked. He had his faction hero there, and yeah, there was just not enough troops. Not enough troops. He had orcs to the north, he had orcs to the south. Once once they, once they, he got cut off here, yeah, I kind of feared the worst. And that's... I mean, how do you... How, I mean, that has to be GG. How do you recover from losing Thorin like that? I mean... That, I, I don't see a way back after that. I mean, Feely, he can revive. It won't be that expensive, but... Thorin's like the most expensive hero that... Oaken Shield can buy, so... I'm not sure how he recovers from that. He is still trying to get Slave Mill value where he can. I don't think he'll get the Forge, but... Maybe he will. And let's see. Both are very close to tier 4. Well, not very close, but they're... They're, they're, they're close-ish to tier 4. I think Thrall's Horde, if he can hold out for Thrall's Horde, then he can make the comeback, because obviously with that 10k, he can uh, he can get a whole lot of heroes. The problem is, is that he needs volume. He needs volume to go with his heroes, because uh, Mordor's obviously got, you know, both. So it's not enough for just for him to get his heroes back. Anyway, 10 points until tier 4 for Jarl, and 9 points for... Ooh, free Nazgul kill, don't mind if I do. And uh, nine points for uh, Nosy. 
Anyway, the Mogul Blade at level 4. Does it stun, by the way? Yeah, of course it does. What a stupid question. I've got <laughs> Does it do the best thing it could possibly do? Yeah, no, of course it does. What a stupid question. Okay, there's Bard that came in, and... Ooh. I know he's a, I know he's mounted, but dude, it's a freaking hero, an expensive one, and these are just some orc spears. How the hell do they do so much damage? Alright, that's the severed heads. Dane should probably just hide in the mines. These archer heroes should be focusing the Nazgul. I think they're focusing Witch King instead because that's where the Wounding Arrow did come in, which lowers his armor. But, uh, I mean, yeah, he's without a slow, he can just get out easy. But yeah, I mean, forcing the retreat does help your does help your sight a little bit. And he does get the Goth Mock. So a nice defense there. He's going to hide under the fortress, which is probably why the Siege Works is out now. He doesn't want to feed in like he... Well, he doesn't want to feed in again because he just fed a hero and he lost a Nazgul down here as well, so... Old knows he's probably going to hope he keeps doing that, but uh, I'm not sure if he knows about the siege works. There are Olog high now. He did get the forge very well done, and he's probably going to get this one as well. And if I was him, I would just send Witch King up there. Because, yeah, he might actually get sniped here. Does he want... I mean, hold up. I, I mean, I suppose he should. There's Chell of Angmar, which is... Actually, the archers are focusing him. They're in range. I mean, look at Bard's range. Fucking hell. Don't lose Dane stupidly. Come on, you've worked so hard. Those are spearmen there. And Moloch. Ooh, okay. Moloch should be a problem. Because while they're focusing Witch King, yeah, Moloch will just be able to close the distance there. He does have Feely Cripple Strike here. So here we go. Maybe he can get another hero here. Maybe there's going to be a feed here. Olokai does go down. How the fuck did Olokai go? <gasps> there's the knife throw. Is that, was that Witch King? I think they might have shot me. Well, you shouldn't have gone downtown I suppose. Anyway, I think that might have been the Witch King. Well, I'll check in a sec because Moloch is now fighting by himself. There are Mordor down to the south and uh, they're going to try and get mineshafts where they can and Moloch, that's a lot of money to throw away. That's tier 4 now. That's Thrall's Horde. You can get that. You can get your upgrades. You can get Thorin. He's not out of this fight yet. I was not expecting so much of a feed from y'all there. I think last time we saw... Well, not the last time, but there was a time recently where y'all fought Thena and he was winning the whole game but just couldn't breach Thena's Lorian defense and just call GG. So maybe history is going to repeat and maybe the same thing's going to happen. It all depends on whether he can get tier 4. Okay, he does. She loves almost back. He does have Eye of Sauron. Eye of Sauron, as we know, can kill heroes. Where's the Thrall's Horde? There it is. Picks it up with the Battle Wagon. Very classy. And I'm just going to guess that, that... Wait, hold up. Okay, no, it wasn't Witch King. It was just another Nazgul. And that was either Feely or Keely. That might have been Feely, actually, that just got stunned with Morgul Blade. So yeah, Witch King did not go down. That's fine, that's fine. Losing regular Nazgul is fine, but not the not not the Witch King. Anyway, distracted by ambient troops is what you don't want. Oh, he still did damage to the slave mill, that's fine. That's actually fine. But yeah, he probably died because of the Morgul Blade. Because that 10 second stun is crazy. But yeah, he has 10k in the bank. So he's gonna be buying back all of his heroes. Plenty of Olokai are gonna come in. And yeah, there's not enough. Not enough firepower to get through that. Okay, maybe Worm Slayers are going to come in. Just to deal with that Witch King once and for all. They have the speed to catch up with him. Um, and yeah, he should be able to just get everything back. Let's have a look at his eco. Yeah, he's on 2k. Mori Reclaimed is almost back. I think for the next battle, once Yarl is actually fully ready, gets a couple more trolls, a couple more orcs. I think he's just going to pop Eye of Sauron and Shelob immediately. And just try and focus the heroes down. But if, if, he, if he drops both of these and somehow doesn't break through, then I think it's going to be bad news. Really bad news. But honestly, I don't see how Eye of Sauron fails here. Alright, Catapult is on the way with another one being built. And these Orlogs are dying way faster than I thought. It's kind of awkward. I mean, I guess they are Iron Hills. They are buffed by Dane. How does Dane not level up? There's Reckless Assault, lol. He really wants his barricade down. He's going to pop his level 5 ability. Finally, we see an ability from Dane. And they'll just tank all that damage. Don't mind if I do. And yeah, these Olog. Holy shit, they're just melting. Not even Forge Blades, but still. Actually, Molog. Ooh, there's the tier 4. I think he would have actually saved it if uh, Mori Reclaim didn't come in there. But I think he did. More, I think he did Eye of Sauron to save his Moloch because I thought Moloch for sure was going to die. He just landed a on a bunch of spears there. But yeah, what a time to get Eye of Sauron! Just stun everyone and just deal huge amounts of damage. Shield as well. 
There's the XD. And honestly, even though Thor, uh, even though Old Nosy was outnumbered, he lost his Thorin. His defense after that point was on point. And I think he might have actually held out through a Rain of Fire. It's just this Eye of Sauron just stuns everyone and does super damage. So it's 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 impossible to defend against. Like if Eye of Sauron didn't come in there, Moloch would have died for sure. Easy. But yeah, just immediately counters everything. Anyway, this is going to be Dane's last stand. He's going to kill Moloch. He did what Aragorn could not lock. And... I mean, he's done so well to keep Dane alive, seriously. Is that Balan? It is. And now he doesn't even need to commit. He just needs to save the catapults, and that should be GG. And there's the hero squad. Thorin's back on the field. No uh, resentment yet. Oh yeah, and this is something you always experience with Gothmog. His his uh, his aggro range is through the roof. Even on hold ground stance, he'll just charge. So you want to be careful on that. He's one of those heroes. Anyway, we actually have seen Master of Siege Val. Okay, we we almost had Master of Siege value. And Dwarven Battering Ram. And Witch King is actually going to stand his. Gr yeah, Witch King is actually going to fall here. Yeah, you probably shouldn't say that right before you die, which thing is kind of awkward. He's... I mean, I think... Y'all would be doing so much better if he wasn't wasting all this money on Ologs. Or if you are going to use Ologs, at least get value, because he just loses them immediately. And remember, Erebor has... Actually, there's, boy, there's Mogul guys. Fucking hell, they, they do so much damage. You should just make them. Just make Mogul orcs. Look at the damage. Those are from the summon ones as well. But yeah, I mean, the amount of money he's wasted on these Ologs and just keeps on coming, it's actually hilarious. Actually hilarious. Another Nazgul Falls, very lucky there. Barricade, I mean, Barricade has survived where Ologs have not, so what does that tell you? Exactly. Anyway, he's down to his last few resource buildings. Ever so slightly, Yarl is tightening the noose, but he's he's paying a very heavy price for it. But yeah, like, like the siege on the fortress. I mean, you saw how resistant it was, and uh, remember, Erebor does have rebuild. So, yeah. It's got to be so demoralizing. He's killed, a, he's killed at least half a dozen Ologs, at least. Maybe more. And, uh, yeah. He's just, he's just pouring them out like it's nobody's business. Anyway, he can buy sending the goats, which isn't going to kill because they're buffed by leadership now. But it should... Do about half their health, which is better than nothing. There's even a portrait for fish in a barrel? Oh. Nice. I don't know why that surprises me. What else would they use? But I don't know. I'd like never clicked on it, so there you go. Okay, tier four. Thrills hold halfway back. Eye of Sauron a third of the way. There's Val Vengeance. Okay. Okay, Nosy has five mine shafts left. I don't think he's going to be too bothered because at this point he's probably relying on Thrall's Horde. But when you're down to so few mine shafts, this is when you need to focus the heroes. So, if Witchkin comes back, if Gorbag comes back, then he should have a pretty good chance of killing these heroes. The problem is, is that he's still using Chaff Orcs, and basically everything here will just mop them up. Like, he's got enough volume now to deal with them. Anyway, Olog is being fed in, as always. I think that's Olog number 8 now. And Dane. Sneaky boy. I think Dane actually might be dead now. The bleed did go in. He took a few volleys, and I think he might actually die there. Literally, the guy who's been carrying this defense on his back. And I think he might actually die in a couple seconds. Yes! There's the go back value. Okay. There it is. There it is. Okay. 
Master of Siege value again, so improved uh, attack speed. And he's gonna have to commit here. He does have Val of Vengeance. There's really nothing else he can wait for, because Mori Reclaimed isn't, isn't back yet. And the problem with Mori Reclaimed is that when that comes back, uh, Shelob will come back, so that just makes it worse for him. But yeah, just like some Mogul Orcs, or just something sturdier to defend these catapults, and it goes a lot better. Anyway, rebuild will come out any second now, which is going to annoy Jarl. And this catapult will go down very quickly. There's the rebuild. And that catapult is still alive. What the fuck? There it goes. I said very quickly and it took ages. Alright, Witch King is back. Second catapult is there. Feely's already used up his cripple. And Witch King, yeah. Y'all is making sure he kills Witch King, er... Killing Feely there, so he's got no cripple. And there's Durin's Day and there's... Fell Beast. And Duvalin. Duvalin trying to get Witch King there. Doesn't quite work. Is Thorin going to get away? He does have a giant mark of the red eye on him. I'm surprised the Fell Beast ignored him there. I guess he's uh, wiser to focus the uh, crossbows. But yeah, surely that's GG. He lost Duvalin. He lost um, Feely. He does have his Archer Heroes. But he was unable to kill Witch King, who's very low and is probably going to die here because there's no way old Nosy lets him go here. And I think he's just noticed the archers are still there. There's the armor debuff. Wow, he did actually get him. But at the cost of Keeley's life, but still a good trade. And let's have a look. God, that bleed is just hilarious, dude. I think he might actually survive where Dane didn't, though. That's kind of awkward. But it seems at long last, Yarl is able to break through. He's won, but I will say it was Pyrrhic as hell. Yeah, Nosy certainly made him work for it. It is kind of funny that Keeley did survive. Maybe maybe the healing from the fish was procking. There it goes. The fortress does go down. And yeah, Shield is there, ready to go. I think Shield will probably come out at the very end, maybe? Yep, there she is. And don't ask me how Keeley is still alive. I could not tell you. Bruh, overkill there. And where's... Where's Oakenshield? Did Mouth of Sauron kill him? Because Mouth of Sauron is sitting here. Sitting... Oh no, there's Oakenshield! And this will be the last fight, I suppose. He's really... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> okay. That was a pretty awesome 1v1. But that was... Um... That was, I have more money than God, and I don't care how much it costs. I will take down the enemy player. Anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all the jazz. See you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.